Peggy 18. The campaign can wait. For now, Carnage calls. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Butcher Circus. To be honest, I did not play this as much as I was hoping for. Obviously, the PvP in this game did not grab me as much. I probably still prefer the solo or single player campaign, but I'm still gonna try to potentially showcase some talents or ideas for builds maybe on the channel, who knows. So for the purposes of that, I want to take the Plague Doctor and what I have noticed is that if we would equip the Blinding Gas, I can be using or adding stress and debuffing the enemy heroes. So I'm gonna try to put this talent for him to utilize and also on top of that I will try to give him additional stress. So he will be already giving plus 25 stress, but with the mask he will be giving them additional stress even on top of that. So this might be actually interesting. And I was thinking maybe we can potentially increase his accuracy too. And who else should we combine with this lovely gentleman? You know what, let's go with the Hellion. We're gonna switch it up a bit here. Gonna be dealing some stress potentially too. Let's see, can we potentially do something like this? Therefore, if we utilize the Yeep, we will be afflicting even more stress. So, okay, uh, those would be the attacking party members potentially. We should put in something else to help out. Okay, how about we go with the Occultist, and instead of this, we will try to utilize the Demon Pull, and therefore, I'm gonna go like this. This might be interesting, so let's try this, and we should have one party member who will be able to... Deal some damage too. So if I would go like this, and I would just straight up put way too much bleeding abilities on the flagellant. Or you know what? What if we would put on top of the debuff the I, that's plus 20% deep of skill chance. Ignore stealth. So let's go like this. This might be interesting. Okay, the occultist should get something. So what are we thinking? Let's increase his healing skill. Obviously, he will freaking need it. And let's use the tonic or cure all trinket on him. And do we want to go with the flagellant? Let's go with the flagellant just for the hell of it. I'm not really sure what are the chances this will work. But if I will be able to stack up sufficient amount of debuffs on the enemy, then the two enemy heroes in the back two positions should have such a decreased accuracy 
that it will be really negatively affecting the enemy party. So, I don't know, wish me luck that I will actually be going against a real person and not a freaking NPC. A few moments later. The advantage is yours. Okay, so it looks like we are starting off. Therefore, I'm gonna go with the Blake Doctor. And I'm gonna try to utilize the blinding gas here. And start to stack up that debuff. The fun thing is that we both have actually a Hellion and Flagellant. The buffoon has flummoxed. Yep. So I'm gonna replicate the step. Unfortunately, this Hellion did manage to dodge. This will be so interesting. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Okay, so... Let's go and put some debuff on the Houndmaster, potentially, or more stress. So he still has the Mammoth Arms. Really, again, Bolster? Interesting. That truly is interesting. And how do we want to handle this? 25, 15, 20, 30. It was worth a shot. So normally I would go with the Plague Mask, Plague Doctor, sorry, and I would try to heal her bleed. But actually I'm just gonna go and try to utilize the Blinding Gas yet again. Now look at that jump in the stress levels. That's some serious, serious action here. And the minus 20 accuracy, that's some serious stuff. Okay, so how do we want to deal with this? You know what, let's go and let's replicate. We're gonna decrease the entire enemy's team accuracy is down. Like dramatically down. Now, we have the Hellion at 97 stress. They are at 85 and... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let's see if we can stack up some more bleed onto the enemy heroes. And the Man at Arms is at 100 stress. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. So I'm guessing he's gonna try to go with the Flagellant and maybe punish some more the Hellion or he will go with the Bellow. So this means that our Hellion will reach 100 points of stress. Behold, the Abyss is made manifest. Okay, how are we looking? 20 out of 36, 8 points of bleed. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. This will be interesting. So if it's gonna be my turn, I'm just gonna go and put some more lining gas onto these two. So the Houndmaster is at 100 points of stress now. Those and the Man at Arms is at 130 points. Our Hellion has 115. And 
Interesting. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Okay, so raptures for the flagellant as usual. Let's see if we can stack up some more bleed. Men at arms surprisingly dodged. Interesting. Interesting items. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a nasty bleed. Let's go with some Eep too. Minus 45% accuracy. It might work out eventually, who knows. They still have Men at Arms and Flagellant, that can go. I'm gonna probably have to heal the Hellion. Because this is some serious bleed and she's definitely gonna reach the death store if I won't do anything regarding this. How can you move and... Oh, I'm probably guessing he was stressed out and that is why he moved on his own. Okay, so I at least know that... Well, uh, our Hellion will definitely get to the dead store, no matter what, because if she gets punished or whatever, the crazy amount of bleed stacked up onto her is seriously gonna affect her. Okay, so I'm actually thinking here, if I were to do this, that's the entire bleed gone. I know that I'm not debuffing the enemy, but from time to time, what the heck. It's starting to feel like both the teams are trying to just go for some stress. 170, 157, 96. What are the chances? You know what, let's just go for a boost to sort of get rid of these nasty debuffs. That's 6, bleed, 18, HP, 17, and 4, and nothing, and minus 20%. Okay, so I'm gonna probably try to, like, heal the Plague Doctor. He's at 100 points of stress too. Yeah, so he might refuse the heal. The Shadow's Whisper of Conspiracy. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's go with some bleed. That's 12 bleed on 7 HP, so the Houndmaster on his next run will get to the death store. And unless the Flagellant will try to do some restoration or something. He's gonna go for the bolster. But, due to the high stress, the Houndmaster has refused the help. Set the stage for heroism. Or okay, cowardice. so he's gonna, of course, refuse. What if I would to try to move the Houndmaster forward? The horror. That's gonna screw up with their party composition, obviously. The Hellion has the breakthrough ability. So she will be able to move forward, but only switching with the flagellant. Interesting, interesting. How much HP do you have? So that's a dead store. Okay, so let's do this. Let's try to restore your HP and you will go with a debuff. When it will be your turn. I'm gonna try to potentially utilize the... What's the name of the flagellant's ability? Sanguinate in order to recover some of the... HP loss. So that's a nasty freaking debuff. But we can do a debuff as well. And, well, she did exactly, or he did exactly what I wanted. 
98 stress on the enemy flagellant, 72 on the hellion. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. So I have few options here that can potentially happen. Try to go with my flagellant and utilize this ability to restore his HP. Beautiful. But unfortunately, he is dazed. So it's still the enemy, flagellant, and hellion that can go. I do wonder if he's gonna move forward and then she's gonna use breakthrough to move the houndmaster more forward. Probably no. Interesting. Unbalanced. Interesting. So we still have the buff, but unfortunately see, she is at the dead store, so that's nasty because then the enemy Hellion can potentially try to kill my Hellion. Okay, uh... Continually and that's the enemy Houndmaster gone. So if all. she will kill my Hellion, it's at least 3 versus 3. Okay, so surprisingly enough, my Hellion has survived, which means I'm gonna try to get her out of the dead store. She's not gonna stay there too damn long because she has 8 bleed stacked up onto her. Let's see, let's see, uh, what is the biggest problem? Hundry 81 is serious issue. Okay, if we manage to hit the enemy man at arms, he can get heart attack. That's a heart attack. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. And the enemy flagellant is there for raptures. Now what I can theoretically try to do here, if I have the talent, is to theoretically utilize the Iron Swan on the enemy man at arms. Madness. What are his trinkets? So he has the protection. Oh, I don't have the Iron Swan. And she does whatever the hell she wants. I did not even control her. Okay. So the stress is obviously really messing up the whole thing, but he usually does that anyhow. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. So the Blake Doctor is at the dead store. Now, I'm not sure if our flagellant will go, but if he will go, I was hoping I can utilize the redeem on him. Never mind, let's put it on the alien. He's dazed yet again. That's just lovely. So theoretically, the enemy flagellant can try to restore the man at arms HP. Or he can just keep on attacking. Weirdo. Or the enemy can potentially give up. A company of bloodthirsty delight. Praise well earned. So, interesting match. We have the Crusader only trinket. The Rift of Execution. Plus 10% damage, plus 8 accuracy, plus 15% stress dealt, and plus death blow chance. Nice, 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 nice. And the finisher. So obviously the heroes in the composition can potentially work. I mean, sure, this is not exactly the first four heroes which you would receive or something like that. But if you play around with these classes and the trinkets and the compositions, I'm quite sure you can find out like a party composition that will just deal tremendous amount of stress or a party which will be just dealing so much damage or who knows. 
Anyhow, the Death Star still plays a huge part and if the enemy team is able to stress out your entire party too fast, I'm quite sure you are then unable to fulfill your task of killing everyone on the opposite team, so who knows. But yeah, that will be it for this episode. In case you liked what you saw here, consider subscribing to the channel. I publish episodes 5 days a week on all sorts of topics or games which I am able to cover with my limited hardware. And if you have any tips, tricks, comments or anything which you would like to share, please feel free to. I will try to give you my response if possible and yeah that'll be it for now stay safe have fun and i'll see you at the next one bye bye